So Mick, there's an issue with bustling cameras on John Dobson Street. What's happened? Uh, that's right. Uh, when we first installed the uh, 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 bus lane gate or the bus gate on John Dobson Street in February, um, we uh, didn't like the signs, which was uh, the right thing to do at the time, we thought. Since then, the Department of Transport have changed uh, uh, their regulations. So between February the 23rd and April the 22nd, we issued tickets at night time where we shouldn't have done so. We were actually anticipating that change uh, in, in the new signage that we put there. It is perfectly legal, the signage now, but between that period at night time, we issued around about 5,100 uh, penalty charges and we shouldn't have done so. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to refund uh, those people who were charged between that period, uh, February the 23rd and April the 22nd, in the hours of darkness. And we know uh, who those people are because we've issued the notices. So we'll be contacting them to make a full refund. And then you'll be apologising as well. Uh, we certainly will be apologising. Very sorry this has happened. Uh, we obviously we want things to go 100% uh, correctly, but in this case uh, we've uh, we found it by constantly reviewing. As, as the bus gate's been in, we've been reviewing all the feedback we've been getting. Uh, we've had um, uh, uh, teams working on this and looking at it very hard, and and we found the mistake. Drivers will be annoyed. Do you think it undermines public confidence in bus lane cameras? No, I don't think it should undermine uh, uh, public confidence uh, in the bus gates and the way we're prioritising buses around the city. I mean, the real benefit for John Dobson Street is that 160,000 bus passengers a week travel down John Dobson Street. And we've heard from the bus companies that um, uh, there's been a 14% improvement in journey times. And so a lot of people are benefiting because of the actions that we're taking. And really, the bus gates, they're not money-making traps. We don't want to make money. We want to be able to speed up the buses. That's what we want to try to do. So uh, as long as the public have confidence that that's the reason we're doing it, it shouldn't undermine uh, uh, what we're trying to do in the future.